Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the quarterfinals with Mansfield. <laughs> on Hopkinton. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Home renovations can increase the value of your home. Safety Insurance offers a variety of home insurance products to cover your home's increased value. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Safety Insurance, we'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst, Peabody Essex Museum, and Subaru of New England. Hi everybody and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Joe Hansen. Last week, Buckingham Brown and Nichols defeated South High to move on to the semifinals. In today's second quarter final match, we welcome back Hopkinton High School and Mansfield High School. On the Hopkinton team, we have Ishan, Abhishek, Alexander, and Gwen. With alternate Pranamia, and Coach Mason Challenger. <laughs> Competing for Mansfield, we have Dhruv, Vishal, Rishi, and Soham. With mascot Sting, alternates Josh and Jacob, and Coach Ken Barrett. <laughs> Competition has Four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, category, and a lightning round. We start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. There are no point deductions for wrong answers, and players may confer before buzzing in. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. Here we go. In 2023, for a second straight year, cyclist Jonas Vingegaard of Denmark won what race covering more than 2,000 miles? Soham. Tour de France. That's correct. What German philosopher reportedly said his most famous work, Das Kapital, would not even pay for the cigars I smoked writing it? Alexander. Karl Marx. Correct. In June 2023, what Swedish activist said she would no longer be able to skip classes as a way to draw attention to climate change because she was graduating from high school? Alexander. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, correct. I Want to Dance with Somebody is a biographical film about what American singer and actress who was one of the best-selling musical performers of the 1980s and 90s? Alexander. Whitney Houston. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is Nighthawks, a famous painting often interpreted as an exploration of human existentialism and loneliness in the modern age. It was painted in 1942 by what American artist? Vishal. Hopper. Edward Hopper is correct. What alpine country is the source of the Rhine River? Ishan. Switzerland. Correct. What Lerner and Lowe musical is adapted from the 1958 novel the Once and Future King by T.H. White. Ishan? King Arthur. No. Mansfield, opportunity for you. Camelot. Louis XVIII was restored to the French throne after the abdication of what emperor in March 1814? Vishal. Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte is correct. Since breaking out with the legal thriller The Firm in 1991, who has released 48 consecutive number one New York Times bestsellers, a feat no other writer has matched? John Grisham is the answer there. Take a look at your screens. Our next question is brought to us by a special guest. Hello, I'm Javier Reyes, Chancellor of UMass Amherst, and here's my question. After her husband, Malcolm X, was assassinated in 1965, who became a civil rights activist and earned a doctorate in education from UMass Amherst? 
Rishi, El Shabazz, no. Hopkinton, opportunity for you. We're looking for Betty Shabazz. Moving on. The Schlieffen Plan was Germany's plan to invade France and Belgium at the start of which war? Rishi. World War I. World War I is correct. Almost all meteorites originate from which of the following? A, comets, B, asteroids, or C, the Oort cloud? Rishi. Asteroids. Asteroids is correct. What best-selling nonfiction book by Robin Wall Kimmerer is subtitled Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants. We're looking for braiding sweetgrass. Around the 17th century, jiu-jitsu evolved as a martial art among the warrior class in what country? Vishal. Japan. Correct. Who is the first black author to win the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction twice? First for the Underground Railroad, and later for the Nickel Boys. Ishan. Colson Whitehead. Correct. Many early Christian theologians believed in reincarnation until it was removed from official church doctrine in 553 AD under what Eastern Roman emperor? Ishan. Justinian. Correct. In the collection of stories known as the Arabian Nights, what fictional sailor recounts his fantastic adventures from seven voyages around the Indian Ocean? Vishal. Sinbad. Correct. At roughly 200,000 square miles, which of the following is the largest hot desert in North America? A, the Chihuahuan Desert, B, the Great Basin Desert, or C, the Mojave Desert? Soham. The Great Basin Desert? No. Hopkinton, opportunity for you? Uh, Gwen. Is it A? The Chihuahuan Desert. A is correct. Located partly in the Baltic Sea, Zealand is the largest and most populous island of what nation? Alexander. The Netherlands? No. Mansfield, opportunity for you. Vishal? Denmark. Denmark is correct. In 2023, ProPublica published an explosive story on what Supreme Court justice, who, for over 20 years, has been treated to luxury vacations and other perks from billionaire Republican donor Harlan Crow. Rishi? Clarence Thomas. Correct. The Boston Massacre took place on March 5th, 1770. British soldiers who'd been taunted by a crowd of colonists opened fire, killing how many people? Ishan. Five people. Five people is correct. What English writer is best known for her novels, especially 1925's Mrs. Dalloway and 1928's Orlando? Vishal. Virginia Woolf. That's correct. In 2023, the U.S. Senate investigated a planned merger between the PGA Tour and what golf tour financed by Saudi Arabia's $650 billion sovereign wealth fund? Abhishek. Live. Live. Live golf or LIV golf. What Greek goddess of chance was later identified with the Roman goddess Fortuna? A, Nyx. B, Tyche. C, Harmonia. Druv. B. Tyche is correct. In 2022, scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory made history by successfully achieving a net energy gain in what kind of nuclear reaction? Alexander. Fusion. Fusion is correct. Widely considered to be the first great American opera, what 1935 folk opera by George Gershwin includes the musical numbers Summertime and It Ain't Necessarily So? Droof. Appalachian Spring. No. Hopkinton, opportunity for you. Ishan. Summertime. No, we're looking for Porgy and Bess. English scientist Rosalind Franklin is best known for producing Photo 51, an X-ray image that helped her colleagues Francis Crick and James Watson discover the helical structure of what molecule? Drov. DNA. DNA is correct. With a maximum depth of only 210 feet, Lake Erie is the shallowest Great Lake of North America. Which is the deepest, with a maximum depth of 1,332 feet? Alexander. Lake Superior. That's correct. What Pulitzer Prize-winning author who passed away in 2023 at age 89 explored a darker America in books like All the Pretty Horses, The Road, and No Country for Old Men? Rishi. Cormac McCarthy. Correct. In 2023, after abnormally warm weather and a late season freeze, what U.S. state lost more than 90% of its staple fruit crop, peaches? Drew. Georgia. 
Georgia is correct. That is the end of the toss-up round. And the score is Hopkinton 110 points, Mansfield has 140 points. We've got another close match in our hands. Let's hear it for both teams. The head-to-head -head round is next, but first we're gonna take a few minutes to get to know our players. We do that with a question. Hopkinton, we'll start with you. Ishan, what is one thing we should know about you and why? I have been to close to 40 countries, and why that is important is because it has reinforced my interest in geography and the world around me. That's awesome. You got a lot of pins on that map. Yes. Impressive. Abhishek. Uh, something that you should know about me is that I, I like geography, and I, I want our school's GOB. You should check out his map sometime. <laughs> Alexander. Um, something you should know about me is that I play the trumpet, and that helps me answer a lot of the music questions. And an appropriate shirt for today, too. Yeah. Yeah. Gwen? Uh, something you should know about me is I saw over 30 movies in theaters last year, and that helps me with any of movie trivia. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't even know there were that many movies that came out last year. <laughs> Drew, how about you? Well, Joe, I really like watching movies, and a couple of weeks ago, it was Rishi's birthday, and we all went to see The Boy and the Heron. Great pick, and happy belated birthday. Thank you. Michelle. Now, I really like eating Mexican food, so uh, for Rishi's birthday a couple weeks ago, we went to Chipotle, and it tasted really good. Wow, you guys really <laughs> celebrated Rishi's birthday. Rishi? Well, Joe, you're not going to believe this, but a couple weeks ago, it was Rishi's birthday, and <laughs> I turned 17, so that was cool. I can only guess, Soham, what you're going to say. Well, a few weeks ago, a day before Rishi's birthday, it was my birthday, but they uh, all forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, I thought you were a team. <laughs> All right, teams, it's time to go head to head. Next up is the head to head round, but before we go on, we have a score correction to make. The judges have determined that El Shabazz is an acceptable answer, therefore, we are adding 10 points to Mansfield's score. Now, on to the head to head. In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total, and wrong answers result in a 10 point deduction. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Shake hands. Okay, here we go. What biodiversity hotspot is the world's largest rainforest? The Amazon rainforest. Yes. What is the chemical symbol for sodium? NA. Yes. What country is home to Bollywood, the world's? India. Yes. What London theater was destroyed in 16? Globe theater. Yes. What object constitutes more than 99% of the entire mass of the solar system? The sun. Yes. As a young boy, what future Macedonian king was tutored? Alexander the Great. Yes. The story of a super virus that wipes out 99% of the planet, The Stand is one of the most acclaimed novels. Stephen King. Yes. In 1804, Alexander Hamilton was killed in a duel in... Looking for New Jersey. In The Hunger Games, Katniss and Peeta are tributes from what district? District 12. Yes. What amendment to the U.S. Constitution granted American women the right to vote? 19th. Yes. Santiago is the capital city of what South American? Uh, Puerto Cuba. Chile. What is the largest moon of Saturn? Titan. Yes. The 1836 Battle of the Alamo took place in what Texas? Uh, Austin. San Antonio is what we're looking for. From Norwegian for bearskin, what word refers to Viking warriors who worked themselves into a frenzy? Berserkers. Berserkers, correct. A strong advocate of manifest destiny, what U.S. president signed the controversial? Uh, Polk. Andrew Jackson, no. The Etruscans were once a dominant civilization in the northern reaches of... We were looking for Italy on that question. That is the end of the round. Let's take a look at the score. Hopkinton has 140 points. Mansfield has 190 points. Let's have a round of applause for both teams. Next up, the category round with the following categories. Carpe Diem, Rock the Casbah, Out for Blood, Date Book, Big Sky Country, and I'll Be Bach. All categories have five questions with increasing point value Teams will choose two five-question categories each and have the option to toss one question per category to the other team 
that the other team must answer. Players are able to confer. Hopkinton, who's your spokesperson? Abhishek? Mansfield, who's your spokesperson? Vishal. All right, Hopkinton, you have a little bit of ground to make up. The first category goes to you. What do you think, Big Sky? We'll take Big Sky Country. Big Sky Country. Questions in this category are about the great state of Montana. For 10 points, the United States acquired territory, including Montana, through what 1803 land deal with France? Louisiana Purchase. Louisiana Purchase. The Louisiana Purchase. That is correct. For 15 points, a reproduction of the Statue of Liberty tops the dome of the State House in what capital city of Montana? Helena. Helena. Helena is correct. For 20 points, Montana's Crow Indian Reservation hosts an annual reenactment of what historic 1876 battle commonly referred to as Custer's Last Stand? Little Bighorn. Little Bighorn. Yeah. The Battle of Little Bighorn. That is correct. For 25 points in Big Sky Country, born in Butte, Montana in 1938, what famous motorcycle daredevil made more than 300 jumps in his career and claimed to have broken nearly every bone in his body? Evil Knievel. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Evil Knievel. That is correct. And for 30 points, elected to the House in 1916, four years before the 19th Amendment guaranteed women the right to vote, what Montana Republican became the first woman elected to the United States Congress? Jeanette Rankin. Jeanette Rankin. That is correct. Mansfield, your first category? Oh, we're going to do date book. Date book. Questions in this category are about key dates in history. For 10 points. The French Revolution began with the storming of the Bastille on the morning of July 14th of what year? 1789. Our answer is 1789. That is correct. For 15 points, Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany on January 30th of what year? We're going to pass. Pass? The answer is 1933. For 20 points, the Soviet Union was officially dissolved on December 25th of what year? It's 1991. Yeah, sure. I think so. Our answer is 1991. That is correct. For 25 points in date book, five burglars were caught breaking into the Watergate offices of the Democratic National Committee on June 17th of what year? Need an answer? Oh, we're going to pass. 1972. For 30 points, remember, remember the 5th of November. This famous rhyme is about the gunpowder plot, a failed attempt by Catholic plotters to assassinate King James I and blow up Parliament on November 5th of what year? All right, oh, we're going to toss this question. Hopkinton, it goes to you. 1604. Uh, 1604? No, the answer is 1605. Hopkinton, your category. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Questions in this category are about Latin phrases. For 10 points, what two-word Latin term meaning other self refers to another aspect of one's personality? Alter ego. That's correct. For 15 points, a two-word Latin phrase commonly translated as show me the body. What legal writ states that a person cannot be kept in prison unless he has first been brought before a court of law? Habeas corpus. Correct. For 20 points, a person admitting guilt for some wrongdoing might use what two-word Latin phrase that means my fault? Mea culpa. Mea culpa. That is correct. For 25 points in carpe diem, Meaning, God from a machine, what three-word Latin phrase refers to a plot device whereby a seemingly hopeless situation is suddenly and unexpectedly resolved? Deus ex machina. That is correct. For 30 points, translated into English as, I think, therefore I am, what three-word Latin phrase is the first principle of Rene Descartes' philosophy? I'll need an answer. Uh, we'll toss this one. Mansfield, this one goes to you. Go, you know, go, so. yeah. 
Our answer is Kogido Ergo Sum. That is correct. Mansfield, the final category to you. Well, we're going to do Rock the Kasbah. Rock the Kasbah. This category, the questions are about the Middle East. For 10 points, Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Middle East by area. But which country in the region is the largest by population? Our answer is Iran. No, the answer is Egypt. For 15 points, the Clash song, Rock the Kasbah, was inspired by what country's ban on Western music following its 1979 Islamic Revolution? Our answer is Iran. That is correct. For 20 points, spearheaded by the United States, the first Gulf War was a 39-country military coalition in response to the Iraqi invasion of what tiny oil-rich neighboring country in 1990? It's Kuwait. Our answer is Kuwait. That's correct. For 25 points in Rock the Kasbah, in ancient Mesopotamia, religious ceremonies were held on top of what massive temples built in the form of a terraced step pyramid? Our answer is Ziggurat. That is correct. And for 30 points, what Middle Eastern country includes Petra, an ancient city and archaeological site that features massive monuments cut into the surrounding cliffs? It's Jordan. Yeah. Our answer is Jordan. Jordan is correct. That is the end of the category round. The score is Hopkinton 280 points, and Mansfield has 330 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, we're heading into the final round of play, the lightning round. Correct answers add 20 points to the team total, and there is a 20-point deduction for incorrect answers. The clock is set. Team's ready? Here we go. What city is the setting for the 1939 classic children's book, Madeline? Paris. All arachnids have how many legs? Vishal? Eight. Yes. Independent since 1981, what present-day country was the last British colony on the mainland of Central America? Ishan. Belize. Yes. What common term for a dead-end street means bottom of the bag in French? Soham. Cul-de-sac? Yes. Sri Lanka, India, and Bangladesh all border what body of Abhishek? Bay of Bengal. Yes. Return to normalcy was the successful campaign slogan of what Republican nominee to the 1920 presidential election? Ishan. Warren G. Harding. Yes. Fictional detective Sherlock Holmes is an accomplished player of what music? Soham. Violin. Yes. What organic compound is commonly known as table sugar? Ishan. Glucose. No, sucrose. In 1963, what civil rights activist became the first black student to graduate from the University of Mississippi? Rishi. Medgar Evers. No, James Meredith. The United States officially entered World War II in what year? Vishal. 1941. Yes. Hans Gruber is the antagonist in what 19... Soham. Die Hard. Yes. In 1949, Indonesia gained independence from what European... Ishan. Netherlands. Yes. Who dies of scarlet fever in Chapter 40 of the coming-of-age novel Little Women? Rishi. Alcott. No, Beth. Name the lightest and most common isotope... <laughs> the answer we were looking for is Protium. And the winning team this week is Mansfield with a final score of 390 points. Hopkinton finishes with 340 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Mansfield now moves on to the semifinals. Join us next week for our third quarterfinal match between Acton Boxborough and Weston, right here on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst, Peabody Essex Museum, and Subaru of New England.